Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. This video is going to be the first of five where I outline the GTD workflow process and how I am using Todoist to do all of the five steps. This very first video is going to be on step number one, which is capture. In this video, I'm gonna show six different ways to capture tasks in Todoist using the web version and the Android app, including one bonus way to add a task that you might not have thought about before. Add items from the inbox directly using the add task button. I use this method when I'm doing brain dumps because I usually copy and paste a list of items here and I can easily use keyboard shortcuts to add tasks to a project or add labels. There's also a plus button at the top of the screen that's there regardless of which page in Todoist you're in. This also allows you to quickly add tasks. Keep in mind that this quickly adds tasks to the page that you are on. So if you're on the today page and you click the plus button, it will add those tasks to the today page. You can also just type the letter Q and that launches the quick task box with a keyboard shortcut. Of course, there's the basic way to add tasks through the Android app, and that's just using the plus button on the bottom. If you have a lot of tasks to add at once, this can really be the best way because it's pretty fast. Add tasks really quickly using the widget from Android. I use this regularly throughout the day. Just tap the add task button on the bottom, add your task, and it's in your inbox. You could also just use the microphone and use the dictation tool. Laundry. This is the fastest way I found to add tasks from basically anywhere in my house. And you can set this up as a skill with your Amazon Echo and there's a website you can go to set up skills. One other way that you can add tasks pretty quickly is to use Google Assistant. Although when I say pretty quickly, I am mean not quickly at all. I really don't use Google Assistant. I feel like it's very clunky and unnatural. The way you might think to add a task intuitively just doesn't work. First, you can't just tell the assistant to add a task. You have to ask it to pull up Todoist first. Then there's a brief pause while Todoist is fetched. And even when Todoist is activated, you can't just tell it to add a task. It's like trying to get into a secret club. You have to know the magic words. You're also supposed to be able to do things like add priority and labels, but I found that to be just another barrier and something that didn't really work that well. On the Todos website, they seem to make this look super easy, so I thought maybe it's just me. So I tried to copy their example and I didn't get the same results for some reason. In general, I don't recommend using this option for quick capture right now, unless you're willing to spend time learning the specific language that you have to say to get the results that you want. My hope is that this will continue to be improved over time and the AI and natural language will improve. Let's say that you wanna add something to your to-do list, like a receipt or a serial number or something that you physically need to have with you to remind you of a task. You can add a photo as a comment after you've added the task to your inbox. Hit comment, attach and file, and you can take a photo or upload a photo that you've already taken. Snap the photo. and it uploads it to Todoist as a comment. So that's step one, which is the capture step. The next step is going to be clarify. If you found this information helpful for you, leave a thumbs up and consider sharing this with others. Thanks for watching.